too much difference between winning and losing tonight, Randy? What uh, what happened at the end there when the game got away? Well, we fun- fundamentally, we made had some breakdowns that cost us the hockey game. You know, I thought that uh, for 53 minutes of the game, we did a lot of things really well, and we made some mistakes and uh, cost us uh, in a critical point in the game. And you know, they scored two goals that were definitely flaws of defensive zone coverage, and one off the rush, and well, I guess both of them off the rush. One started off a dump in the first one, but we didn't uh, defend it properly. Talk about your uh, couple of line changes you made tonight. Kaluman and Grabowski. Yeah, we were just trying to see if we could, you know, mix things up a little bit. We were probably looking at it that the line was a little bit stale, or whatever word you wanted to describe it wasn't wasn't working for them. And uh, I thought that that it had a positive effect. We were more balanced, and we did create more offense. And wasn't the type of game that was up and down that you would expect. From Pittsburgh, it was more of a, a checking type of game, and uh, we did our fair share of checking, and you know we had our chances. You know we we have a breakaway with one one Leo Karmaroff, you know we have a power play, we have some chances off it. So it wasn't it's not all doom and gloom, but it's doom and gloom when you lose the way we lost, because it, it tears at your your fabric at your heart, because we're finding a way to lose a game instead of finding a way to win a game. Did you like the job with the Kessel on it on, on Crosby up until those two goals? Well, again, it's, you know, that you play when you match, you know, head to head, it, they're gonna, there's going to be offense at both ends. And you, you've got to, and I thought they managed it fairly well until, the, you know, the last two mistakes that were made uh, would cost us goals. What was your assessment of uh, John Michael Lyle's play today? Oh, I thought he came in and gave us, you know, good quality minutes he jumped up in the play and played the type of hockey that is suited for him you know that's his game he's a small guy that's got to join the rush and move the puck effectively you know see some offensive time in the power play thought he did did well for us what was the message in your time out nine minutes left no oh, that was just we were tired Kadri's line got caught and then every time you know that there's a a tired line over, you know, Crosby was coming over, so we called a timeout based upon that we give our guys a little bit of a rest and just settle it down, and we got through it, you know. Is that the kind of goaltending you needed to from Ben tonight? Yeah, I thought Scrivy gave us a chance. You know, the goals, one, the backdoor goal was, I don't know if you could fault him on. Crosby made a behind the back pass to Dupuis, and he got his foot over, but Dupuis put it over his pad, and then the, the other was a, sl- a slot shot that I think we screened him. And it went under the bar over his glove. It was a pretty good shot. I don't think he had a chance to really see it. It was away quickly. So the two shots were pretty much, from his standpoint, or defending him, I, I don't think he had a chance on them. You spoke about it early, earlier today about not chasing the puck and chasing the play. It didn't take much in that third period for, you know, once Crosby got the puck in the key, key situations, it was just in the, in the back of your net. So what's the question? Asking it, it really didn't take much. I mean, you see what he can do when. Well, we we know what type of player he is for sure. <laughs> you know, he's a talented player. He, there's no secret that he's the best player, probably the best player in, in the league right now. That's that's fact. You know, and uh, he, he had a chance to make a difference, and he you know he makes the big play to Dupuy. I think Kunitz was the other forward, but if you look at the the second goal, the guy who drove the middle lane that took two defensemen to the net was Crosby. Where do you go from here, uh, Randy? Just are you, are you confident if you keep playing this kind of style that? I, I yeah, I believe that if we can, you know, obviously we you don't want to lose the hockey game. We're not sitting here saying, oh yeah, but we did play well enough for 53 minutes, and these are more of the t- style of games you're going to see, you know. And if we could, you know, again, our power play had a chance to make a difference in the hockey game. I thought our penalty killing did. But you know, it would, when you have the opportunity to power play late in the hockey game, you, that's when you got to find a way to win it, and that's the difference between, you know, the the success and failure of tonight in my mind. And then, fundamentally, we made two mistakes. But if we score in the power play, I don't know if we had to worry about it. You know, but that's that's the hand we're dealt. There's some positives. I know they're not feeling good. They're upset with themselves and they're frustrated, and all those things. But it's about regrouping and getting ready for Winnipeg.
We can't change what happened tonight. But we can sure try to make an imprint on what's going to happen on Saturday.